again. In this video I'm going to discuss another song from the book George Gershwin for solo jazz guitar. And this time I'm going to discuss the song They Can't Take That Away From Me. This is uh, one of the more in tempo tunes. And um, let's start just with the introduction, which I'm just going to play from the recording. So, as you probably recognized, it starts with the melody. But instead of starting with this single note, I made it like this. So. And as I often do when there's a repeat of the melody, uh, the second time the melody comes back, I play it a little bit differently. So then we use a uh, descending chord sequence. And that's how we create variation when the melody is repeated. When we arrive at the bridge, it goes to G minor. And the melody goes like this. And you may have noticed in other arrangements that I quite like these descending chord progressions. And there's another one here, so it goes like this. So it goes from G minor to C and then from G minor to G flat to F to E to E flat to A flat. Let's listen how it sounds in the recording. The whole song has passed by in E flat, so uh, when we've played the whole song in E flat. So there is an interlude that connects the first part to the second part. And in fact, it modulates from E flat to G major. Uh, let's quickly play the interlude from the recording. So as you can hear, it moves back to the theme, but now in G major. But the idea is the same. So again, we have this part. And in 
in fact, a lot of the, uh, the ideas of the first part come back in the second part, only it's in a different key. But let's move on to the ending. And again, I'll play a bit of the recording. And to conclude, let me briefly explain the ending. The ending uses the main theme again, but now in combination with these chords, C minor, G with a B in the bass, B flat minor, A minor, A flat, and a G chord. So actually it goes like this. because I cannot reach the G in the bass with my left hand. I tap it with my right thumb. So we get this. Here you see again that I like to exploit the melody in different ways, combine it with different reharmonizations, change key now and then to make a fresh arrangement that has some interesting elements in it and will uh, hopefully surprise you sometimes. <laughs>